Hey everybody, Dean here and welcome to Dino's Tech World. Today I'm going to show you how to run a benchmark on a system and decide what components of a system uh, you can upgrade to improve the performance. Uh, one of the things that's difficult about telling how well a machine performs or uh, how fast a machine is, is there's so many different variables that just by looking at the specs it's really hard to tell a lot of times exactly how fast a machine is. Now there's a, a website called userbenchmark.com that you can use to actually run an independent benchmark on your system and it will compare your system to other systems and it will find uh, what areas your system may be lacking in. So to run this benchmark all you have to do is go to uh, userbenchmark.com and you'll see right in the center here it says free download. You download this program and you run it. So when you run it, this uh, window will pop up and uh, just leave all the tests on and just run it. And it will take a few minutes to run because it's going to run uh, tests on your CPU, your GPU, uh, your hard drives, and your solid state drives. And uh, so it will do a, uh, a bunch of tests and then it will get the results of these tests and compare it to other computers of the same type as yours, same configuration, same components, and different components. So it can kind of give you an idea of not only where your machine's running in kind of the overall spectrum of machines, it gives you an idea of how efficiently your machine may be running compared to other machines with the same components. Uh, one thing you should be aware of, though, is when you run this program, you should have as few programs running on your machine as possible to get an accurate result. In fact, you can run it a couple times, once with some other programs running and once without anything running. And the less you have running, the better the performance you will get uh, because there's less things using up your system resources. So uh, be aware when you do the test, try to shut everything down that you can. Uh, in, in some cases, you may have things running in the background that's going to uh, lower what the, the performance, the actual performance would be. So just be aware of these things when you uh, test it. Now, I'm running this program here right now while I'm doing screen capture and I have a couple of other programs running. So I'm going to show you the actual report that I get uh, when I run it without anything running. And then I'll show it to you uh, compared to another machine and show you some of the things you could do uh, as a hypothetical to improve the other machine's performance. Okay, when the program finishes, it will say benchmarks completed and you can close this window and it will open up a report in your default web browser. Now, this is, this is um, me running this program with some other programs running and a screen capture program running. And uh, so I'm getting like, 72% on gaming, on desktop I'm getting 66%, and on workstation I'm getting 83%. I'm showing you this to, just to show you a comparison. Is If you're running some other stuff, you can kind of get a, a bad benchmark. So if I go to this other page, this is the page with the machine where I turned off pretty much everything on the machine as far as extra programs. And you can see I've got 139% on gaming as opposed to 72%. And uh, here where the desktop says 66 here, it says 94 here. And the workstation says 139 here, but it says 83 here. So the results are a lot better when you're not running a bunch of stuff. And so it will be less accurate if more things are running on it. You want to run as little as possible on it when you actually run it to get a better benchmark. Now I'm going to go to a different machine, an older machine, uh, so we can look at some of the things wrong with an older machine that we might be able to upgrade. So if I click on this particular report, uh, it says in gaming, 9% is like a tree trunk. This is a pretty old machine. Desktop, it's not doing that bad. It's 61%. And as a workstation, it's 8%. It's a tree trunk as well. Uh, so one of the things... It says here, as you can see, uh, it kind of colors these different colors depending. So the processor is actually doing pretty good. It's in the green level, in the boot drive, in the memory, in the OS. 
The boot drive actually replaced recently with an SSD on this machine. It was doing terrible with the old uh, uh, hard drive on it, and that really improved the, the uh, performance of this machine when I did that. Uh, the graphics card, uh, the performance is, is really pretty low for, compared to a modern machine. And uh, so if we go down here, we can see a better report of what's going on. The CPU is, a, is kind of a 61% benchmark, which isn't terrible. If you look at this graph here, it's kind of, it's in the poor range. It's not in the great, but it's not down way down here in the red range, which would be really bad. This is a pretty old machine. This is like a fourth generation uh, i7. So, uh, you, you know, we're at the 11th generation now. So it's kind of an old machine. Uh, the, uh, the graphics card here is at 4.56. It's way down. It's in the red. So that would be one thing on this particular machine that you could replace to improve the performance, uh, particularly if you're doing, you know, graphic heavy, um, applications. If we go back up here to the top. The reason it does better as a desktop than gaming is because desktops, uh, are tend to need less graphics like gaming uses a lot of graphics it is just a regular desktop uh machine doing tasks that might not be that graphics intensive it's, it's not that bad of a machine in other words uh it's still pretty old so i mean this is not cutting edge obviously uh it also shows where uh the hard drives are this hard drive here isn't doing too bad but i think this is a newer hard drive this uh this um this boot drive here, which is an SSD now, I had an, an old SSD that I replaced a hard drive in here, and it's at 91% benchmark, which is really, it says is outstanding. It was like probably way down here with the hard drive. So, so, so the nice thing about this program is it shows you how each thing is performing. Uh, the uh, the performance of the memory isn't. Isn't that good? Sometimes it will actually give you recommendations of what you can buy to replace uh, the things on here to improve it. Um, and so this gives you an idea of how well this machine will work for basic different tasks, gaming, desktop, and workstation. Workstation is, I believe, more like a power user. So gaming would be just playing games, which is very graphic intensive. Desktop would probably be more like a normal user. And... Uh, and uh, uh, workstation is, is more like a power user. So this is, you know, maybe for an average user, this is, would be acceptable. And for certain tasks, this would be acceptable. Uh, it's interesting because it goes by, um, it, it gives it a ranking of like a type of ship. This is a destroyer desktop, but it's a tree trunk. So it's not even a ship. It's just a floating tree trunk. When we go back up here, to this other machine that I tested, which is my current machine, it says UFO, which is kind of like the highest. So, in nuclear submarine and UFO, so so it's running really well, performance-wise on most things. But there are probably some things uh, that could be improved on here as well, but it may not be worth it if it's up at this level. So that's how you can take a benchmark using this benchmark program, and you can use it uh, to compare pair a couple of computers that you have by using the different reports and it's also comparing kind of to the average of different machines and it's comparing it to the type of machine that you have and the usage of it so this is a really good website to use and uh it, and like i said all you need to really do is go down on it and just kind of take a look at this and when you see something like the graphics card is way down at 4.56 you could get any sort of graphics card probably uh, that was newer that would improve this greatly if you needed the more performance on the graphics card end of it. The other thing to pay attention to would be like hard drives particularly, the amount of memory and you might actually, if the board accepts a faster memory chip, you might even be able to improve the performance some by getting a faster speed of memory chip. I'm Dean, and this has been Dino's Tech World, and I will see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like.